Hi guys, this is Minnie and welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a hair video. I've been getting requests on how I got my hair to look really like straightened and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I was thinking about cutting my hair, but I figured one, my best friend, my boo-boo would complain all the time and I'll never hear the end of it. And two, my sister just kind of recently cut her hair and uh, people think we're kind of twins so I need my own identity, okay? So <laughs> we're not going there again. And also when I had short hair a long time ago, when I tied it back, it was really difficult for it to stay back because sometimes it'll come down and it'll fall on my face. So it really depends on the length of your hair for it to stay up. So that was really frustrating and it kind of reminded me that, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't cut my hair so um, maybe another time but right now I'm just gonna show you guys what I have to deal with right now before we get started if you guys are new here you can always join me and press the subscribe button right there for more videos like this I do vlogs music videos chit chats uh, whatever you guys want to know I can uh, possibly do it here if you'd like so join the party anyway so this is what my hair looks like naturally like it's just really blobby every single morning I don't wake up like <laughs> you know how all those Instagram girls do I wake up literally like a slob okay my hair is really messed up from all the dyeing throughout the years and this part is very smooth but down here it starts to get a little crazy and every single time I go to shows I have to prep my hair a day before in advance in order to get that smooth silky appropriate hair basically get my shit together first step that I do is I comb my hair I don't comb my hair on a daily basis because I feel like every time I comb my hair I just pull out more hair and my hair is so damaged that it kind of has breakage and right now since I'm pregnant I don't use any conditioner or any bonding stuff to make it stronger because I'm afraid it might affect my baby so I'm just gonna like wing it out for the next five more months I'm four and a half months pregnant right now so just deal with my crappy hair but in the meantime if I can save myself from some sanity <laughs> then I will do this process okay today we're using no products at all I don't really like products in my hair I feel like it's greasy and I know that you could use it for a certain amount of time but throughout the months your hair is gonna grow out long you're gonna cut it off either way it's just you know, a waste of time and money. Just stuff in your hair just makes me feel ugh. I just try to keep it as natural as possible unless I really, really have to use hairspray and that's usually for music videos, etc. or to tie my hair a certain way or to style it a certain way, then I will definitely turn to products like gels, hairspray, mousses, etc. Whatever you need, then I will do it for the videos, the photo shoots, the extraness that has to have it, you know? But if I don't need to do it, then I won't do it. We are using the Mason Pearson popular brush. So this is a brush that I did a review for a couple weeks ago. I will link it up here for you guys in case you guys missed it. But this is a super expensive brush and I feel like this brush helps me with my breakage. It doesn't really pull out as much and it kind of brings my split ends together. Basically, if you have sweat up here or like grease, it's going to bring it down and somehow moisturize your hair and connect your hair in some sort of way. That's my understanding of it. Let's start combing. Pregnancy, I heard after you give birth, you're gonna start losing hair. So I usually comb from here, bring a little bit down, drop some and just go slow. Make sure I'm not pulling any hair because I need to keep my hair intact. That's something to keep in mind. Wanna make sure that I have every single strand linked on. And on top of that, my hair is super dyed, damaged, etc., bleached to the fullest. So the breakage is really, really vulnerable. So I gotta be extra careful. See, I can feel it already falling out. <laughs> Let's go slow, we're almost there. So I'm gonna run it through one more time. You can see my hair right here is kind of poofy because I slept on this side and naturally my hair just kind of puffs up when I sleep on, you know, the pillow like this or the pillow like this. So it's just really not giving me any like cuteness. Basically, it's just really ugly. But um, we're gonna fix that. Next step is to straighten your hair. This is a straightening video, so of course the straightener has to be involved in this video. Unless my hair is wet and I want to do the whole blow dry thing, but that's just another story. Here it is. I'm going to use my straightener. This is the high straightener. I got this about maybe 10 years ago. So you can use any straightener that you're comfortable with. I know there's a lot of new technology that comes out and it has more better quality. It helps to protect your hair from being um, damaged, the heat, the ceramic, whatever you are comfortable with, just go with that. I'm going to start by doing the same thing that I did with my hair earlier when I was combing it. Going by the uh, inner corners right there. Slowly, like seriously. Towards the end, like right here, I'm going to like just melt it and take my time. 
And I feel like when the hair is being straightened that way, it kind of connects and brings your hair together in some sort of way. I'm gonna drop some right here and do the same thing. Go very slowly. I tend to go back and redo that area if I need to, just to get that hair to really cling onto each other. Slowly drop my hair as I go. Take your time. This is easier when you have like another person doing it because they have a comb and they really know how to divide your hair properly, but it's just me. Just try my best to uh, manage with two hands. So really, really, really milk it at the ends. Just. Like the lesser hair that you grab to straighten, then the more straightened your hair will look. It'll look more pin straight. And as you get to the top part of your hair, this bumpy part will eventually straighten out and like not be as crazy bumpy. See, you can see that it's already like really getting it together. I got this part right here. I gotta kind of straighten out and make sure that it doesn't look all like lumpy bumpy. There you have this part of the hair. I kind of want to go back and just make sure that I didn't miss anything. Slow. It's like ironing your hair. The slower, the better. I cannot stress that. Like some people go too fast if they're combing their hair like that. It doesn't work that way. It has to go slow and the thinner amount of hair that you get, then it's going to straighten much better. So you can see the side of my hair is like really nice and straightened and this side is just a blob. And here the bump is slightly gone. I can go back and fix it some more, but I'm going to move on to the next side and then show you guys the rest. And then also if you don't want to like burn your neck, just kind of lean your neck this way, go in there slowly. Sometimes I uh, get too close because I'm like this and I just go in there and I'm a clumsy girl. So I'll like bird my neck, so be careful. My hair is nicely straightened, you can see. I put the temperature to the highest, which is 450. If you guys are not comfortable with that, then you know you can really feel out your hair and see what your hair can handle. It's nicely straightened, and right here in this area, this middle part, I'm going to go back with the straightener and kind of like give it a little like curve here so it can give me some volume right there. So you can see that this one kind of went up a little bit and this one's like flat. So same thing with this area. Just kind of curve it, you know? You'll mess up here and there, but if you mess up, then just go ahead and straighten it again. But if you just do a like a loop kind of motion and out, then you'll get some volume in that center area. And you can also do it to the upper parts, like right here. You can just loop it like that. It'll give you that extra volume. But make sure to go fast because if you go slow, it's gonna like give you a weird dent and you don't want that in your hair. So make sure that you get that in check. Hair is straightened and next step is to style. I always, always use this product and I did like at least two or three videos on this. So I'll link it up here for you guys to see. You can see right now my hair is super flat. So I need the extra volume. That's just how my texture of my hair is. It's just never gonna give me volume unless I use this product. So. Once again, introducing the balloon. You guys, this is like a product that you must have. Every girl must have it, okay? Forget your every girl must have the Chanel bag kind of deal. Get this, okay? This is like everything. It's bringing life to your hair and it kind of gives you a feel good moment when you finish your hair and you feel like your hair is in place and you can go about your day without worrying it being looking like a blob or a slob. This product right here, I put it up to 395 degrees, which is the highest, and then I'm gonna start styling my hair. By doing that, I'm gonna take about an inch, move it over, and then volume away. So I have a video on this, you can check it out. I'll link it up so you guys know what I'm doing, but the idea is basically to give me more life, more volume than just having a flat hair. So I'm gonna finish up volumeing my hair and then show you guys the end result. All right, there you have it. My hair is nicely straightened and styled. So if you wanna go back and comb your hair for the extra, extraness, then you can do that just to keep your hair together, more straightened, more um, unified. Here is my styled and straightened hair. This is how I straighten and style my hair when I go to shows. Basically how I get myself together when I really feel like 
a slob <laughs> okay so i hope you guys like this video pretty easy you can do on an everyday basis i do volume my hair every day and i don't find a problem with the breakage in this area this is all virgin hair right here no dye and i've been voluming almost every single day for about a year and no problem so far the only problem is down here which i can't do anything about like protection conditioner because I'm pregnant, but uh, otherwise I think it looks pretty good. Let me show you guys a little bit back here. And then um, let me show you guys from behind. So I can't see from behind, but hopefully it looks good. Looks like that. Is it cute? Is good enough? <laughs> so another problem is my roots, but it's okay. Once again, I can't dye my hair during pregnancy. I can just get that in check after the baby comes out. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys like this video and find it very useful. It's an everyday kind of hairdo-ish if you just want to do a quick, simple one. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Press subscribe right here and catch me in my next video. Thanks for watching. Doodles!